Well, today we're just outside Pennycook. Behind me, you can see Glencorse Barracks, a famous line landmark for any Scottish servicemen of a certain age. This used to be the Scottish Infantry Depot. Young men would arrive at this uh, st old station here. This is the station car park and go through that, those famous gates to become Scottish soldiers go out all over the world, British India, the Far East, wherever, and serve in the British Army. Now, nationalists often accuse us unionists of nostalgia, of being hung up on flags and uh, harking back to the, the British Empire and the glory days of Britain. Well, I can tell you, having served in the British Army for 20 years myself in post-imperial times, that the British Army today stands for very much more than that in the world. The British Army is respected throughout the United Nations and across the world for the peacekeeping roles that we've undertaken since the Second World War. I myself was involved in operations in Kosovo, where we were keeping the peace between Serbs and Bosnians. In Africa, I worked in co conflict resolution after the war in Mozambique between Frelimo and Renamo. And in Sierra Leone, where there was a terrible civil war that the British Army helped to bring to an end some 25 years ago. Scotland's place in the world would be greatly diminished by dismantling great British institutions like the British Armed Forces. Nicola Sturgeon says that she'd still have some sort of army, but what sort of army would that be? She's committed to go back into the European Union. The price for that would be that Scottish servicemen would have to be part of a European army. Scottish voters would have little say on where Scottish servicemen would be deployed anywhere in the world as part of that European army. Although, actually, frankly, the chances of them ever getting involved in anything would be very remote. 26 countries in the EU would be very unlikely to agree it. This election, whether parties want to talk about it or not, is very much about separation. Alex Salmond, Nicola Sturgeon, the Nationalist Front with the Greens, if they get a majority, they will try and push for secession, for breaking up Britain. And what that means, in effect, is breaking up those institutions that we share with the rest of the UK. We already in Scotland have our own say over health, education, agriculture. When you analyze it, the unity of the UK and the union really is institutions like the shared currency and the British Armed Forces and the monarchy even. These are the things that the separatists want to break up. All this history behind me Glencorse Barracks, great historical landmark. It's easy to get hung up on the history, but these young servicemen in this barracks today could be serving tomorrow anywhere in the world, keeping the peace as part of the British Armed Forces. And Britain's place in the world, our seat on the UN Security Council, would be greatly diminished if Britain was broken up and those great British institutions like our armed forces with that. So I'm asking you to say no to separatism and give a strong vote for keeping Britain together on the 6th of May, but get by giving your first vote on the lilac ballot paper, paper to the party most likely to beat the SNP and on the second, on the orange ballot paper, to all for unity. Together, 
let's put the SNP out after 14 years of failure and put a, a unity coalition in and let's start to heal Scotland. Thank you.